Today we have a gear review and a spot of fishing. Roll that intro. <laughs> I'm out doing a, a bit of a road test on some new gear. I'm fishing a small private fishery outside of Oma. I'm fishing three swims, well four swims. I'm using a um, new pole that I got. I bought a Matrix 10.5 meter torque pole. This is designed purely for carp, commercial carp fishing. Now here in Northern Ireland, we don't really have many carp fisheries, so I'm fortunate, very fortunate to have one that's on my doorstep. But today, the margin swims, basically with commercial fishing like this, I tend to fish margin at your feet, middle distance, and then the island. So you'd fish three swims. But today I have two margin swims at my feet, basically either side of me. I'm fishing to a stock of reeds. I've had four carp so far. And it's been a pretty good morning. In the margin swims, I'm only using a four and a half meter version of the torque pole. I have it fitted with a 1820 red Drennan elastic and that's fitted on a puller kit. Now I'm limited to two top kits because my spares haven't arrived yet with the dealer so I'm waiting for the spares to come in. When you have your spares you would have like your rigs set up differently but I have what I have so let's use what I have. These top two kits are on puller, uh, side puller bungs. I'll show you what they are. In fact, I'll show you what they are now. Let me just take that down. Right, here's your top kit. They come nice and marked so you know where to put them together. And here is your side puller. So if you're having to put more pressure on your fish, you can pull here and you can fight with it. Up the pole I have a little, you might not be able to see it there, a little black uh, rig catch. And I'm fishing, I'm fishing the margins just like 18 inches deep. Two hours late. Okay, so that's an hour, two hours of serious fishing. 13 carp, not big, but the Pole's been good, matrix torque pole, very good. And as you can see, ouch, did need that on my finger. This is my margin rig, there's the float, and there's the hook there. So it's really only, you know, 18 inches to 20 inches deep. But I'm fishing at the, at the far island, so that's the that's the far margin. The inside margin's the same depth. In the middle, it drops to about three and a half, four feet. So, not fishing very heavy, but you just need to, you know, have a bit of oomph to pull fish around lilies and reeds. But first, that I've thoroughly enjoyed road testing the new pole. You know, sorry that I couldn't catch a carp on camera for you. you know, I'm thinking about going home and getting a KFC or something else. <laughs> Actually not a KFC. If I just turn you around, you'll see the reeds. Right. See how all those reeds have all been collapsed over? 
that's because the as soon as you strike the fish heads straight for the reeds so you have to pull fish away from the reeds but it is what it is I have ordered some extra top two kits for this pole and I will elasticate them in probably uh, this is 1820 so I'll probably wrap them in 16, 18 you also have heavier and lighter just for different fishing circumstances if I was fishing somewhere where there was no snags I'd only be using like a 14, 16 elastic you know I wouldn't be using a heavy elastic but because I have to bully fish here I just step it up to 18, 20 Good fun, very good fun. The Matrix Torque Pole. So what do we think? Well, I quite liked it. You know, RRP for this pole is 199.99 pence. So 200 quid. Um, you don't get much the way spares though. You get one kit, one top three kit. So you have to buy additional top threes. So it is what it is if you're looking out for a margin pool. But having looked at the Preston, what Preston equivalent of their 10 meter margin pool, uh, it was running about the same price and you got about the same sort of spare. So you didn't get that much with it, but hey ho, it is what it is. You just have to buy top threes or top twos. In the the fishery where I was, I deliberately went to a peg that I knew was roughly 10 metres to the island. So I fished, you know, 10 and a half metres to the island. I fished deliberately there because I knew there was, uh, a, it was reed lined, so that if anything takes the bait, I'm going to have to be quick on my toes to pull the carp away from the reeds. Uh, I'm going to have to bully the fish away from the reeds. Now the carp we caught, we caught, they're going to show you a picture of those now in a second. The carp that we caught, they weren't, you know, monsters, but they were good fun to catch, good crack, good good, good fun to catch. Um, I'm very happy with the purchase, I am. You know, the pole itself is rated to 20 plus elastics. It is um, double carbon wrapped sections, so that again, that's great. I mean, there's you don't want a thin walled pole for commercial carp fishing you want something that you can hit and hold and if you need to pull and bully away there's an enlarged ceramic eye in the third section for puller kit so if you had your i don't use a bung in the commercial in the carp pole no point it just adds weight at distance uh now it might not be a lot of weight but it's just why would you use it when you can have like a side puller with a little bead that weighs a lot less and it's easier to use I think personally um, for those occasions when you have to pull the elastic back to get the fish you know into your net quicker you know um, weight wise it's 990 grams at 10 and a half meters with the strike section the mini butt so it's uh, it's quite a nice pull for it's quite a nice, nice weight for that pole. So, all in all, my initial thoughts are very positive. But I will do a longer term review. Um, not much else I can do. I'm going to be using it in my local carp match pond. And I'll be taking a few days to a couple of carp ponds throughout Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland just to road test it, give it a good going through. My plan is to buy an additional four top threes so I can convert one of them into a cup kit, purely just to put bait in with the cup. Um, it is what it is, everyone likes like having a cup kit that's separate. The little clip-on poles that clip on pots that clip to the end of your pole, they're quite all right, they do the job, but I would like a designated cupping kit the other kits, um, most of my time when I did do match fishing, did do commercial fishing, I only fished really three swims. I fished at my feet 
the middle distance and the island. So I can't see me fishing, you know, I can't see me fishing differently to that there. Uh, now that I'm, I'm, it's not a match, it's just fishing, having fun. So again, I'll probably set up, you know, maybe three top threes with a margin swim, a middle distance and the island, if I'm fishing the island. Um, I could have a couple of spares if I wanted to set up, you know, just in case I trash a float uh, for when I'm match fishing. I probably might do that, but all in all, for the money, for the value and for the... I'm happy with what I got. Now, I did also buy a four and a half meter version of this pole. That's purely for uh, pulling it at your feet. That's a designated pole just for at your feet. So I've got a four and a half meter version and the ten and a half meter version. Uh, the, that little gremlin in the back of my brain goes, why don't you get a six or an eight? You know, that way you can cover the middle distance with a specific pole. And I think I think buying more tackle at this point in time would, would infuriate the old wife. So let's uh, not tell her that I'm thinking about buying another pole just to fish middle distance. But so there we go. The review, my initial thoughts, my review of the Torque Matrix Torque Carp 10.5 meter pole. Uh, like I said, I will do a longer distance review to see, you know, if anything comes up, like if and if I'm using it for like a couple of sections and like things start going wrong, I'll update, I will tell you, you know, what I found after a couple of months, maybe even a year long term review. Um, apart from that, it's 200 quid pole, it's for commercial fishing, it's not for delicate work, it's for pulling carp to a net as quick as you can to build a weight. Uh, I'm only going to be using it realistically for pleasure fishing and the odd match to have with the hooligans on a Monday afternoon. But I'm happy and uh, not much more I can say really. Uh, if you like the videos I'm doing, give them a share, uh, leave comments. I do try and get back to the comments. Uh, the whole YouTube crap, you know, the whole like, share, subscribe. Yay. You have to do it. Otherwise, YouTube buries your videos. So if you could like it and maybe share it, or if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It would help me out. Cheers, guys.